What's going on everybody and welcome back to the Dynasty here in NCAA 06. We're kicking things off with Rice, but our goal is to move on to a bigger conference, to a better program, and see what we can do there, all while building teams around the option offense. So we're on a three-year contract. Hopefully we can do what we need to do to survive. You know what I mean? But again, our goal is to move up. So our first game here is at home. We're taking on Florida A&M. And we're looking to put a spanking on these dudes. But first things first, man. They got the ball first. And they're looking pretty good so far, man. Play fake. Going to find his tight end. But his tight end forgot his hands back in Florida. So it's third down and three. They're going to give it to number 30. Who's beasting and feasting, and looking like a young Terrell Davis as he picks up the first down. But now our defense is getting together as we hit him in the backfield. Second down and 13. I give it to him again. But again, he breaks a couple of tackles, but he's bottled up for the most part. So third down and 10. Look at them feeling that thing fly. But he lets it fly out of bounds. So we're going to take over. And here comes our option off. And look at my quarterback doing work. But then he fumbles the football, but we are able to recover it. So first and 10 from the 29, we're going to give it to Payne. And Payne gets caught up in the backfield. Not the best carry for his first carry of the game. But his second carry is a lot better. As he picks up a game of about 13, maybe 14, it's a fresh set of downs. That's all I do now. Then Harris cuts it up field. And my quarterback looking nice in this here option doing work. Now we're going to look downfield with the passing game. But you know what? They can't catch him, so why not run it? We were looking to pass, but the run was open, so take it. Now we're going to get the ball to Payne, and Payne cutting up field. Breaks two tackles, and he heads into the end zone. And now we are up by seven, but here comes Florida A&M on the attack again. Looking downfield, going to let that thing spin to the right side. Caught, and he might take it to the 21. He was almost gone, but he stepped out of bounds. Going to take a shot to the left side. That's caught by him again. This dude can catch the ball out of the back, feel like a receiver. He's pretty solid, man. They go up the gut. We shut that down. Second down and goal. They're going to give it to him again, and again he's breaking tackles, but we eventually get him on the ground. From the three-yard line, third and goal, he's going to take it to the house. So it's a 7-7 ball game. It shouldn't be a 7-7 ball game. I'm going to be on the record of saying that. We should be dominating this team. But right now, it is a little bit of a struggle. We need to find my man Payne. Look at Payne. Breaking tackles, rumbling and bumbling and stumbling. Four carries, 42 yards, plus a touchy. Harris looking downfield. Is he going to throw the ball for the first time today? No. No, he's not. He's going to tuck it and run again. And he's going to show that he is a, a, a pretty good dual threat, even though we haven't seen the other half of the dual threat. You know what I mean? First and 10 from the 34. Will we pass it here? Yes, and, and, and it's ugly. But hopefully that is not a sign of things to come. We're going to run the option, and the option was not executed to the best of our ability. So it's third down and 11. Harris looking downfield. We got a pass. We're going to find Hill wide open. Our first completion goes for a first down. Give us a fresh set. So we're looking downfield again. We're about to find Hill again, and that's back-to-back -back completions and back-to-back first down then on first and 10 from the 11 about to take it to the crib touchdown harris and the rice owls take a seven point lead that pass is going to be incomplete he forgot his hands again in florida looking down the middle that pass is going to fall incomplete as well third down now that's going to be caught by the big tight end wearing 94 and he makes it work for a first down so from the 49 yard line it's first down and 10 they go with the play fake and he has a man open it's gonna work for a touchdown he's gone so again we probably should be dominating this game but we are kind of in a little bit of a dog fight so far so second down and five not the best design not the best execution probably don't need to run that play too much more third down and seven harris looking downfield he's gonna stop he's gonna pop and that pass is gonna fall incomplete and we get the ball right back to florida a and i need my defense to answer and that's not the answer i was looking for florida a and connects on a long pass now they have a first and 10 after 36 to give it to the tailback he works his way upfield for a gain of five from the 41 y'all on the second down and five under a little bit of pressure it doesn't matter he's gonna find his man who is running through the secondary with ease First and 10 for Florida A&M. Looking downfield, that's going to be batted away. If we can hold this team to a field goal, I greatly appreciate it. 
I would appreciate it more if we could stop this team from scoring all together by getting a turnover. We're going to hit my man in the backfield. Give me that use attack for loss. Third down and 13. Letting that thing spin, and it's going to be caught. So it looks like we are on the verge to be losing to Florida A&M. We get a sack right there, screaming off the edge, punishing the quarterback. That's what I like to see. Second down and goal from the seven. They give it to the tailback, breaks two tackles, and gets into the end zone. We're in trouble because we're losing to a school that we should not just beat but dominate. So there goes Hill down the sideline. Gets to the 50 and steps out of bounds at about the 45 yard line. That's what I like to see. So it's first down and 10. We're going to hit him with the option. My quarterback is going to keep it in Harris, trying to make it do what it does on the ground. Second down and six. Now we're going to run that option. And he got too much speed, man. You can't catch him. Touch down Rice. And now it's 21 to 21. Third down for Florida a and They decide to run the football, and they're actually going to pick it up. They pick up the first down on third down and seven with the ground attack. So from the 46, it's third down and 10. Looking downfield again, and this time it's going to be batted away. So we get off the field, and now we have a chance to take the lead back. We run a wheel route, and we throw it with accuracy. My boy Whitehead to the crib. They had a linebacker on them. That was a no-no. That was a no-no. So they get the ball back. We force them to go three and out. We got 12 seconds on the clock. 12 seconds is plenty because we get a block right there, a block right there. We're to the 50. We're to the 40. We're to the 30. He can take it to the crib, and that's exactly what he is going to do. 34 to 21 now as we move to the second half. So we're up by 14. It's time to let the option game do what it does. We can also run a little full house action. Give it to my running back. Let him just take it right up the gut the old-fashioned way. You know what I mean? Look at the look at the running lanes. Look at the power. Look at the moves. Just through pain. He's nice. I must say, he is nice. So we get the ball back again. We are up by 21. Now we're going to take a shot deep to the fullback. Look at everybody in this offense. I'm telling y'all. The fullbacks, the running backs, they're going to catch a lot of passes, man, in this dynasty and, of course, in Mount Rainier as well. Look at Harris weaving through traffic and picks up another first down on the ground. Can we capitalize on the good field position that we have now? Oh, you better believe it, baby. We're going to pitch it just because we can. Let my boy Payne get the yards, get the stats. Everybody eats, B. Everybody eats. It is now 49 to 21. So Florida A&M, they take over the down by 28. It was just, it was, it was, it was a 21-14 ball game not that long ago. And now we are working and cooking with grease. We get the interception right there, and now we have a chance to maybe push the lead even further. This is my third-string quarterback, and my backup fullback is now eating. My third-string quarterback is in because my backup quarterback got hurt after, like, one play. So anyways, man, Perry, my backup fullback, he's going to take that thing to the crib, baby. Touch. Damn, Rice, 56 to 21. Wait, 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 give me that Yahoo. Is that her? I said give me that Yahoo. Give me that user interception. We got this thing going back the other way. Now, Houston, who is my starting quarterback, he is back in the, or my, not my starting, but my second string quarterback. He is now in the game. He gives the ball to Perry, and Perry is actually my, he is a backup fullback, but he's also my backup running back, believe it or not. So we got to set up for a field goal. Kick is up. Kick is good. Now, these are the backups on defense, but this is something that I don't want to see, man. We know that they're going to be running the ball. Maybe maybe we didn't know because we're acting like we didn't know because that's going to be a touchdown. That was way too easy. Took it to the crib. So we would go downfield. We would get a field goal. They got the ball with three seconds left. I hit the cornerback, but the fact that he can just run away from our backup DBs like that is a little bit scary. Not going to lie. I am not going to lie. But you guys, that is going to do it. We get the W 62 to 35 with running the option. I like it. We only threw the ball a grand total of 10 times. We completed a grand total of six passes for over, over 150 yards. So not, not the best day passing, but we don't expect to be the best passing team out here. We want to run the ball. My boy Harris had 145 yards, two TDs on the ground. Payne, he led away with 173 yards plus three TDs as well. Houston can run. Bush, he can run too. He's my third string quarterback. So all my quarterbacks here got some pretty decent speed. Again, this was Florida A&M. They're definitely not the fastest team that we're going to face. I believe our next game is UCLA and then Texas or vice versa. So we're, we are really going to be tested versus 
those two schools, and then I believe we kick off conference play. We are in the Conference USA, if anybody is wondering. So, again, our goal is to build Rice up as great as we can make it, all right? Make this a successful program, a successful run while I'm here, and then move on, maybe sign a contract someplace else in a bigger better conference with a bigger better team or you might just go small school small school small school and then eventually get to a big school but that's gonna do it hot sauce peace love y'all